This is the arrival of Deng Xiaoping in uh, Seattle in February of uh, 1979. It was at the uh, Kennedy Center in Washington. They performed, and this, of course, is Kissinger. You know who this little boy? Ilian Jia. This is one of my favorite photographs. It's, it shows Premier Zhu Rongji and his wife. This was 20 years into the normalized relationship between the U.S. and China. We took my mother's soup spoons and we played a game called Digging to China. They dropped bombs on the runway where we were going to land in China and we just have to throw our our load out because we couldn't make it back. I've worked on U.S.-China relations for many years. I would say that this was ranks among one of my happiest and most fond memories of uh, being in China and I missed uh, Chinese friends. When President Xi came and talked to us and, and uh, you know, he's very knowledgeable about yeah. mm -hmm. agriculture. He thinks highly of, of the people that live on the farm, wants to help them to have a better life. Uh, but this was the first time I actually got to sit with a panda um, and, and to uh, donate money to panda protection. My son, who at that time was a little bit younger, demanded that I bring the panda home. Um, I couldn't do that, obviously, so I got him a panda bear instead to bring him home. The year 2019 marks the 40th anniversary of diplomatic relations between China and the United States. Over these decades, there has been a marvelous growth of people-to-people -people contacts and ties between our two countries. As we now look forward to the coming decades, the friendship between our two peoples will continue to be the very foundation of the relations between our two great countries. That's why we invite you, invite all our friends all over the United States to come and share with us your most memorable stories with China. Together, we will build even stronger ties between our peoples. And with your personal stories, you will help make history. People are the most interesting stories behind a sound bilateral relationship. And the pictures are strong testimony to such relations. I believe when we see your photos and hear the stories to go with them, we will better understand the essence of China-US relations, which are really about people. I wish great success to my China album. So come and join us. <laughs>